Hello there. Welcome to this video when we will be talking about the coin change problem. So the basic problem is given a number. Let's see this. Plus. Say we're given um, a number, ten cents. Nah, five cents. And a few coins. Coin changing problem asks, well, sometimes it asks, what's the, the minimum way to do coins? Here we're going to do that at the end, but first of all, we're going to go through all the different possibilities of ways to make change for this using this. So let's do this recursively. We need this. We need the available coins. Apple, and we need the coins we have used so far. So, if the sum of what we've used so far equals our target, let's yield that list. Um, the sum is greater than the target, we know we've gone too far, so we'll pass. If there are no more coins to use, we need to pass. Else we have two recursive statements. So for C in change in same coins available and the number of coins so far plus the first coin available so each of those yields C so this one's almost the same but we need to remove the first coin available, and we don't want to select this. So the reason you do this one is so you can have multiple occurrences of the same coin within the list. So if you're not removing any of the available ones, you're always going to start with what you have. So these. That way, when you're looking for five, you can get one, 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 one. And the reason we do this one is because we need to stop picking ones at some point. We need to move on to fives, and this will let us do that. So let's just print out what we have here. Okay, so those are the two different ways to make change for five cents. Uh, let's try 15 cents. Hmm. Kind of hard to read. Okay, there we go. So for 15 cents, we have 15 ones, we have 10 ones and a five, five ones, two fives, five ones and 10, three fives, and a five and a 10. So typically you're asked this problem in order to get the minimum number of chains, you need, uh, coins that you need. So let's print the optimal. And we're going to take the minimum of all these solutions where the key is the length of the list. Because 
This is a, a list of lists. So we need to take the smallest list. Let's see what this does. Okay, so the optimal solution is 5 and 10. It uses the minimum number of coins. Now let's see, what it is for $1.50? I can guess. I can guess it'll be 6 quarters. It is 6 quarters. Look at that. So, hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more to come. Thank you for watching.